what is good everyone welcome to a new video we made it out here in 2021 300 subscribers and going strong today we got three picks for you guys to invest in for 2021 the nba season has just started and i got some picks for you guys to watch out for the rest of the season so here we go i'm gonna throw in an honorable mention for the first card and that's gonna be Ja moran I mean, the hype is there, you guys know who this is, but a Ja Morant based PSA 10 is looking pretty good right now because he just got injured. Now, we just gotten reports that his ankle injury was not a fracture, which means he will be making a full recovery in the next two to three weeks. His card's not gonna dip crazy right now, but we've seen a small dip based on the card ladder graph recently. Right now, it's still going around six to $700 for a base prism PSA 10 but you got to think long term if you're gonna hold John Morant for the next two to three years compare him to Luca who's already in the one to one and a half thousand dollars for a PSA 10 right now you can see in the past three months his rate of growth is around 70% which means that a lot of people are buying him there's high population for John Morant and he's honestly almost at an all-time high right now but if you're looking at potential and you're looking to hold long term, this guy hasn't even hit his ceiling yet. He's not in his prime and he hasn't even made an all-star appearance or a playoff appearance. So if we're looking at John Moran in the next three years, if he makes a playoff appearance with the Grizzlies, if he makes an all-star appearance, his card is definitely going to go up just like Luca did last year when he made his first all-star appearance. So my honorable mention is John Moran. If you guys have the cash, if you guys are looking to invest heavily into some pretty reliable cards, I'd say barring injuries, John Rant is my top pick. So moving on to the next pick, I've got my boy Lonzo Ball, Laker legend. No, I'm just playing. My boy Lonzo Ball on the New Orleans Pelicans. This man has changed. So I know he's in the league for three years now, but this is his contract year. He's playing with Zion. He's playing with an all-star level Ingram. And you see this year that his shot form has changed. His three-point percentage looks good. Passing is always good. Outlet passes. LaMelo Ball, his brother's in the league. You know he wants to one-up him. Lonzo Ball right now is one of the cheaper cards for his draft year with Jason Tatum and Donovan Mitchell. It's going around $140, $130, and his price is fluctuating around that range. Now, his rate of growth is also around 6 to 7% past three months, but volume is good at 166 sales on eBay. I personally am just a little biased towards Lonzo Ball in general. You know, big baller brand, we out here in Chino Hills, but... If you're looking at his shot form, if you're looking at his potential, the fact that he's in a contract year, the fact that he has Zion and Ingram on, on the sides, he's got all the pieces and all the right mechanics to be a top tier point guard. I'm definitely keen on Lonzo Ball for the next three to five years and the fact that the Pelicans might make the playoffs this year. Whenever a team makes the playoffs for the first time and they've got players that are new, their card value is definitely going to go up. We've seen it with Tyler Hero, with other players as well, so Lonzo Ball would be my next pick now moving on to the next one we got john collins this is no surprise to anyone he's just stepping it up a level trey young baller beast luca level now you put him with john collins who you know has been developing the past few years he's looking like a 2010 center power forward mix now once he develops that three-point shot a little better he's looking great Trey Young is an awesome point guard, making him get easy baskets in the rim. And John Collins has been looking awesome in the first quarter of the season so far in 2021. I put him at a pretty high evaluation right now going for around $200 to $215 for a PSA 10 prism. Rate of growth is 13%. His number of sales is a little low at around 37 for the past three months on eBay, but John Collins is a guy that I think is in the right position in Atlanta and another one of those players where once the Hawks make the playoffs we might see him become another Bam Adebayo on the Heat. He is that go-to power forward center big that Trey Young can go towards and when you have an all-star level point guard the center usually pops off. We see it with the Rockets. Christian Wood going off. I'm not going to tell you guys to invest in Christian Wood. His card is a little bit 
all over the place, but you see someone like James Harden, John Wall, elevate Clint Capella, elevate Christian Wood to the next level. They make these centers look good. John Collins, I believe, is doing the same thing right now with Trey Young and with the better basketball IQ than some of the other centers or power forwards in the league. Lastly, I want to put you guys on someone that I truly believe in. I have him on my fantasy team as well. Colin Sexton, my guy from Alabama. This guy's work ethic is nonetheless the best compared to other people in his draft class. His card's been spiking though, 211% in the past three months. Usually I wouldn't recommend something like this based on the fact that his card is hovering around $300 right now for a PSA 10. But I don't think it's too late to jump on the Colin Sexton train. Obviously his card was literally 100 to 150 two months ago, one month ago, before the season started. But he is literally the best player on the Cavs right now. Darius Garland is dope. They're a good one and two duo in the backcourt. But this guy is improving every year. I can see him becoming an all-star in the East. It's easier to become an all-star in the East. If the Cavs make the playoffs, he's getting more playing time, more exposure, and he's averaging like 20 plus points right now. He is a beast. I love his work ethic. I think he's a good long-term investment in the next five to seven years. He is a little high price right now, but this is one of my sleeper picks. If you guys are willing to invest a good chunk of money into one of these players from the 2018 draft class. So that's it for me guys. This is the first video of 2021. More videos to come in the future. I'd like to thank you guys again for 300 subs and we got more content waiting for you in the future. Thank you guys, stay tuned and peace.